Hello, Dr. Farhad is here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to conduct regression analysis. We conduct regression analysis when we want to test our hypothesis. All right. So let me, I come back to go to my uh, data. Here is my data. I have more than, if I'm not mistaken, uh, 250 uh, data, which I have already keen in my SPSS. So now I want to conduct regression analysis to test my hypothesis. So before I proceed to regression analysis, I would like to highlight to you that make sure you have already computed all your variables, dependent or independent variables. You have to compute them. All right. So after the computations, you can proceed with your regression analysis. So I have to go to analyze select linear uh, regression linear so here is dependent variable box and here independent variable box so based on your model you have to take a look which one is your dependent variable in my case let's we assume bl represents brand loyalty is my dependent variable and my independent variable is let's say brand trust and perceived product quality. In this case, I have two IVs and one DV. I have to go to statistics. Just select R square, plot, residuals, uh, normal uh, probability plot. If you wish, you can click, save, standardized nothing to do with option just skip and bootstrap just skip press ok so what you will see here three tables are very important for your report model summary ANOVA and coefficient model summary we have to look at to the adjusted R square all right so you have to report this figure so the adjusted R score try to show the variation of your dependent variable explained by your independent variable. All right. So the variation of your dependent variable explained by independent variable. So meaning that here, perceived product quality and brand trust, you know, explain very well to our dependent variable. So the greater R score, anything greater than the you know, zero is going to be good R score. So in this case, my R score is 58, which is quite good. So the ANOVA table, if I look at the ANOVA table, I have to look at to SIG significance level. If the significant level below 0 0.05, below 0 0.05, meaning that is significant. Here, the ANOVA table shows that my model is significant. And here is the coefficient table, which is another important table. What I can see here, here you can see whether your independent variable, here is BT and PPQ, my independent variable, whether my independent variable impacting on my you know, dependent variable or not. How I can see uh, these two variables influencing on my dependent variable by looking at two things. The simplest one is SIG. If you know the value below 0 0.05, meaning that is significant, above 0 0.05, insignificant in this case if you look at the bt is below 0 0.05 meaning that brand trust you know impacts on brand loyalty if i have a trust on brand then i will be loyal to brand perceived product quality also is influencing on my brand loyalty because it's below 0 0.05 if i perceive the product has a high quality meaning that i'm going to be loyal according to this finding one more thing I would like to show you in this table is a beta value based on a standardized coefficient. So the greater beta value is the greater influence, is the greater you know, weight. So here in this case, if I want to bring you know, more discussion into my project, by looking at the you know, beta value, I can rank the importance of my variable. In this case, I can see the brand trust is 0.50 and perceived product quality is 0.31 meaning that the brand trust is more important compared to 
perceived product quality. Both of them, of course, important, but the important brand trust is more than perceived product quality. The reason is the better value of brand trust is greater than the better value of perceived product quality. All right, that's the end of the regression analysis video. If you had any questions, so you are most welcome to add your comments on my YouTube channel. Take care and bye.